Welcome back to the Junior Moneymakers Podcast, where we help kids become young entrepreneurs that can start and grow their own business. Today is Wednesday the 30th, and this episode is going to be short and sweet. This episode is going to be all about feedback, which is definitely relevant to any kid hustle. In fact, it's also important to any and every business out there. As always, before we start, I want to mention this week's affiliate, the Tuttle Twins. The Tuttle Twins is an amazing series that teaches kids where money comes from, how it works, and all about free markets. Towards the end of the episode, I'll tell you how to get a copy of their book or audiobook series for 20% off. All right, let's get started. So, what is feedback? Feedback is defined as information about reactions to a product, person's performance of a task, etc., which is used as a basis for improvement Honestly, I could probably end the episode right there because that pretty much nailed it. Feedback is simply asking your customers to provide you input on the product or service that you're providing. Getting their input lets you know what you're doing well, where you can improve, and what other types of products or services they might be interested in buying from you. Direct customer feedback is invaluable because you are hearing straight from people that are already using your business and they're literally willing to tell you exactly what you need to do to increase their customer satisfaction rate. I view both positive and negative feedback as sweet manna from heaven. So let me give you three tips for gathering effective feedback. Tip one, start at the end. You need to know what you're trying to improve on before you ask customers for feedback. For example, if you want to improve your customer service, you can start asking questions about customer service. If you want to know how well you're cutting lawns, you can ask about how well you cut lawns. Starting with what you want to know will be key to ensuring that the feedback you receive will be meaningful. Tip two, make it easy for your customers. I suggest making a simple worksheet they can fill out and return to you, something half a page or less with a few highly targeted questions. Questions such as, what is the best thing about my business? What is the one thing I need to improve first about my business? What is one additional service you would like me to add to my business? Boom, three simple questions they can answer in four minutes or less. You can print it and give it to them with your invoice or make a quick SurveyMonkey questionnaire for free. The key is to keep it brief and only ask questions you're willing to do something about. Tip number three, make it worth their while. If you look for feedback once per quarter or every six months, make the feedback form a coupon. If you mow lawns, give them $5 off if they fill out the form. Chili's gives out free chips and salsa for feedback. Why can't we do the same? Adding a free upgrade or a discount for filling out feedback is a great way to get people to give it. Of course, I have a quick bonus tip for you. Feedback can be tough to receive sometimes, but get used to hearing it. Take feedback, thank people for it, ask clarifying questions, and then get out of there. Never justify negative comments or argue them. Simply thank them, reflect on them, and later decide if you want to do something about it. If someone takes the time to tell you how they feel, value the fact that they shared. They might just change your business for the better. All right, junior moneymakers, let's wrap this up. Customer feedback is an important part of any business. If you build up a relationship with your customers and they know that you value their opinion, and you act on them, they'll start to feel invested in your success, which will create a level of intimacy and loyalty that you just can't buy. I suggest asking for feedback after two to three months into a relationship, and then at least once every three to six months after that. I hope this episode helps you take your business to the next level. And as always, you can sign up for my email list at juniormoneymakers.com. And please don't forget to drop me an iTunes review. Until next time, don't forget to dream big and change the world. The views expressed on this program in no way represent the views of the United States Air Force, the Department of Defense, or the United States government and are solely those of the host and their guest. Additionally, the ideas in this program should only be tried after ensuring compliance with all laws and regulations and then only with parents' permission. Finally, while we believe in every idea we present, we cannot guarantee your results as all individual results will vary. Earlier in this episode, I mentioned a book series called The Tuttle Twins. This is one of my absolute favorite series when it comes to teaching kids about free markets and ideas like non-aggression principles, personal responsibility, and protectionism. 
The books are incredibly well written and boiled down to core concepts that children 6 to 10 can easily grasp. If you want to support the show, use my affiliate link at juniormoneymakers.com slash book and you can check out all six of their titles which can be purchased with a combo pack discount. They also just released all six books on audiobook which my kids are really excited about. And you can get all six books together for less than $20 which I'm really excited about. Don't forget if you use the code LIBERTY at checkout, you can even drop 20% off of your order. The Tuttle Twin series is the first book series on my certified for junior moneymakers list and I am absolutely stoked to be affiliated with them. Check them out and email me at mark at juniormoneymakers.com and let me know what you think. Why did the math book look so sad? Well, it had a lot of problems.